Hello, welcome to another episode from Small Roads. This is April 2022, and as you can see in the red spots, this is one month's travel. <coughs> we went a uh, lot of the ways to Maya Fjord, a very nice place in Denmark. S uh, spent the night here by the by the town at the harbor. Uh, it's a, and it's a really beautiful countryside all along the fjord. Here's a little ice hut where you can uh, just go in, pick an ice and pay. The owner trusts people to do what is right. Now here's a little harbor also on the long the road. So this is some of the back roads we drive, small roads. Uh, and this one was quite interesting because we, it looked like dust in the right in front of us but uh, didn't know what it was and when we came uh, further down it was actually a dust storm forming all the planes uh, and it just got darker and darker until the sand flew around our windshields sometimes when we drive on the really small roads we get a little surprise. <laughs> this one actually said, uh, road is ending, now we are on a gravel road. Well, you just have to keep on driving. We are, in fact, at the small roads. This is a little more of the dust storms. It happens uh, frequently in Denmark uh, in springtime when there's not so much water came across a little place that sold these iron things to put flowers on and we're gonna need that later. Of course there was a few little cookies. This is a favorite place of ours. It's called Skytteholm. It's by Viborg. There's loads of uh, tracks you can walk and it's a very beautiful lake. But it's cold. I mean like really cold. All year round there's a lot of uh, bathers. Uh, some of them are naked, so beware of that if you're not comfortable with that. And please, if you park here, around this lake, be sure to leave lots of parking space for the swimmers, otherwise this place is probably gonna lock down. Nice lunch, some alternative kind of um, hot dogs. We didn't have any bread, so we just, so we just made them inside a salad leaf. <laughs> we spent the night in solitude at uh, Kongsus. Next night was a stay at something called Klippen, Klippen by Stor. We had a lot of preparations to do uh, in this day because of a big event in the family, including a lot of flowers. This is another favorite part of ours, it's called Svinklövene, and it's on the top of uh, Denmark. Last time we were here, it was so stormy, we didn't sleep uh, most of the night because of the wind. But right this time, it was showing its beautiful sights. We took a lot of tours around in the area, up and down, well mostly it's the wife walking up and down. <laughs> it's not really for me, but... Uh, I can take some pictures instead, or some videos. 
what we like here is that it's uh, very untouched it's pure nature and it's just a lovely place and as you can see the wife is about to descend all the stairs going down to the bottom we were here for for a night and uh, unfortunately we catch uh, a little sickness so uh, yeah, the day after we slowly made our way home to recuperate but uh, it's a place we got we're gonna visit again uh, more than once at least now look at the beach right down at the bottom beautiful it's not actually not that good a bathing spot but it doesn't matter because it's uh, quite beautiful I try to illustrate that uh, up there is the parking place and when like us you come out of season it's no problem to get a spot I probably wouldn't go there in in high season but look at those beautiful sunsets gives you a great view over the uh, over the ocean and of course on the way back we had to find some lovely spots for lunch and uh, Of course, this is a better beach for for um, testing the waters. It's sand, so I had to try. It was uh, it was quite cold, <laughs> so I didn't get in the in the Adam suit or the the bathing suit at all. Just had to go out and test the waters. And of course, my wife yells in the background, "Watch out for your clothes!" And well, then of course I had to wet my trousers. <laughs> <laughs> On the back of this place there is uh, something called Sledeo and Lien. It's a very special place. Um, it's like a, a canyon in Danish. <laughs> There's some water flowing all the way down. It's a beautiful nature spot. Makes some great uh, hikes up and down. This is, a, this is a, a place to go, but you can't wild camp there anywhere. It's uh, parking spaces only, so just be just be wary of that but we always love water uh, the sound of running water so that's the best for us next day we went to Odersund visiting some friends there's some great stories about how this uh, little piece of land came to and, and it has something to do with a very big pig on, this, on the very end of it there's a lighthouse and it's actually called pigs too. If you're lucky and the wind and stream are working against each other, you can stand on the edge right here and have the same feeling as in Skane, where you have two kind of waters uh, mixing together. But it's very steep, there's a lot of currents, uh, not a good bathing site. But as always, the sunsets are beautiful. This is the view in the rear mirror when we're driving home from Skrise to Odde. Here at Knud Mosesøerne uh, is a great little spot and as usual we try uh, cleaning up both for ourselves and for everybody else actually. Look at this. Now it's springtime. People are getting their horses out in the water. This is by Ulbjerstrand very nice place we also come uh, out of season it's okay to uh, to spend the night and you can find the spots in the high season don't go there the locals um, don't really like it but we took a hike into uh, the town actually seven kilometers all in all just to get an ice cream well there was nothing else to do and I said as I said earlier the the sound of moving water Let's hear it. Dinner on our little grill from Scotty and watching the sunsets. It's a it's a favorite pastime. <laughs> and of course a cold beer. Next day we took another route uh, home. 
This is usually where we stop to have lunch, buy some fresh fish from Virksund to Sundsøer. On the way home, uh, we have this little place where you can buy cake, uh, bread, everything and take with you home. I took a few days off from the wife and uh, went to Svendborg to get some education. Found this sweet little spot by Rantaus Minne and spent uh, a couple of nights there watching the ferries, the ducks and just enjoying life as usual watching sunsets and sunups. This is Silkeborg and in the night time out of season of course you can park right down by the harbor. Just be aware of the signs after 18 and before 9. It's okay if there's room, the locals have a lot of parking there. This was a morning view, a bit cloudy. But in a matter, actually went the tour around town, got some coffee and we got her some new shoes. Just to match with the coming spring. Flowers are coming through, very nice area. Slow and easy. And there's the two trolls. Oh, wait, no, it's, uh, it's actually just one troll. Sorry. Favorite spot of ours, just to take a lot of hikes because there's something called Silgobor Bath. Well, this is an inconsiderate camper, taking all the view, don't do that. We walked around, enjoying the sunset. And the next day we took a tour to the Silgeborg Bath. It's an old place where people came to get uh, treatment. See, there's a lot of ochre in this water. And it's actually also a, a, an art museum, art exhibition. This is the parking space up on top. On the way home by Himmelbjerg, we found this little cafe on top. Himmel Mountain, <laughs> it's the highest place in Denmark, <laughs> almost. And then of course we went to France, that's what the sign says. Um, so that's all for today folks, um, leave us a comment down below and we'll see you later. <laughs>